Good morning, Facebook family. It's your thankful Thursday drive to work. Hey, y'all, it's time to roll. Let's get on the road, y'all. It's morning G out here early. Good morning, Facebook family. It's Sporty G jamming on your Thursday. It is your thankful Thursday. Thankful Thursday morning, y'all. You got your music yesterday, huh? Well, look, you take that old one and you give it to somebody you know that's going to enjoy it, you know, because the new one you got got a whole lot more music than that other one.
Good morning, everybody out there, man. Spoonie G out here about 15 minutes early. Spoonie G got a hell of a day going on today. I got clients to see, then I got to go to court today to brief the judge on some of the clients. So it's a heavy day today. So Spoonie G getting out here early to prepare. You know, you got to be professional with everything you do when you're in this type of a... Um, career, you know, because this is a career. This is not a, a regular job. It's a career. So, you know, I'm trying to establish myself and solidify myself in this field. So, Spoonie G like to be top notch. Yeah. Good morning, Virginia. I see you, girl. I know you got that music yesterday. And that's what happens when you, um, you mess around with Spoonie G. Spoonie G gonna give you something so you can play the same stuff that he played Every morning. Yeah. Let's roll, y'all. It's the thankful Thursday. And boy, we gonna be getting down to this morning. Yay. Let's roll. another day 
And hey, y'all, that's why it's a thankful Thursday. You got to give thanks where thanks is due. So, you know, hey, man, I did mine this morning. Every morning I get up, I thank the Lord for another day to drive to work with y'all. Hey, man, y'all make my day, so let's roll. Number, so you're supposed to be tracking it yourself. <laughs> Just, it's your thankful Thursday drive. It's time to get loose, y'all. Come on.
y'all. Let's get loose. It's Thursday, y'all. It's Thursday. The week is already over with. Almost over with anyway, because tomorrow it is Friday. But Spoonie G got a wicked work schedule. So my weekend on start. My Friday is Saturday. <laughs> yeah, my Friday is Saturday. And I'm on Sunday and Monday. And then on Monday, I'm really not off because, because I deal with kids and the court system. Shoot, they be burning me up on um, on Monday. So I, I work like almost six days a week. I only have Sundays off, to be honest with you. Yes, good morning, Vanetta. How you doing, girl? I see you enjoying the ride. You jumped on the ride when I got, when I got 15 minutes away from my house. So what's wrong with you? Let's roll, y'all. It's Thursday. Thankful Thursday. Hey. Yes, indeed, y'all. Good morning to everybody, man. Good morning. It's a thankful Thursday.
is getting out in the sunlight. But COVID got everybody staying home. So they got something wrong right now. You know, that me, myself, every so often I take a break. I go stand outside in the sun for about for my for the whole time of my break. Then I come back. Yeah, you gotta keep you gotta do stuff to boost your immune system so that you won't catch the COVID since they don't have a virus. Yes. Yeah. Come on, y'all. So they told us blasphemy, you can't, you gotta choose 
So she chose the Cowboys. Well, later on that night after the game, she DM'd her address, said she wanted the music, right? So I sent it to her. Boy, yesterday, she posted it on Facebook. Thank you, Smoothie G, I got my music. But I just want to let her know that, hey, this is what we Saint fans do. We ain't hating on you, Cowboys. We don't like you, but we don't, you know, we ain't gonna hate. We gonna still give you that Saints hospitality. And I wanna tell everybody that's watching this morning that, um, hey, y'all, Spoonie G got a special treat. Hey, Bam Bam, what's going on? Um, Spoonie G got a special treat for y'all. Spoonie G gonna be making about 200 of the best Christmas songs for Christmas coming up. Yes, I'm gonna start working on that project and I'm gonna start stocking. And then around December 15th, I'm gonna express mail all the listeners that ride to work with me some the good Christmas music like when you was like three years old and you heard that music. That's the kind of Christmas music Spoonie G gonna be making. So y'all better get ready. Y'all gonna be able to get some free Christmas music. Yay! Hey, let's roll! Hey, hey.
you is the name of that jam, y'all. It's really sweet. I like it. Hey, look. Uh, hey, boy, I'm telling you, Spoon and G gonna gear up to give out. I'm gonna be like the music Santa Claus this year because all my listeners gonna get a treat. I'm gonna have all the hottest ever made Christmas songs and I'm gonna have the best gospel, y'all, on one flash drive that I'm sending out. I ain't gonna put nothing on it but Christmas songs and gospel for the holiday season. Yes, I am. Yeah. And all you have to do to get the Christmas and the gospel flash drive is be a part of the drive to work. That's all. This is it's very simple. And it's a simple process. You drive to work with Spoonie G. Spoonie G going to give you your Christmas flash drive with the gospel song on it. And all you got to do is drop your address in the DM. Yeah! Uh, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing, man? Did y'all thank the Lord this morning for riding to work with Spoon and G and getting up and getting ready to tackle another day? Huh? If you didn't, I, I advise you to get off this live and go do it and come back. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. I've got this lady. Like it's serious. Yeah. 
D-boy, that boy said the girl had the comeback love that made him come back and he ain't going, he ain't going nowhere. He said somebody just told him about that comeback love. Uh, what is the comeback love though? What is, what they mean by that? What is that comeback love? Can somebody answer that question for me? So can, some, can somebody tell me what is it? Uh, what does it mean about the comeback love? I really don't know. I, I want to know though. Um, I, look, girl, I got to stop right here because uh, my boss man drank water like a camel. And if it ain't got no water up in there, he going to blame me for not getting it. So let me get two cases of water and put them in the truck. Why I do that, man, y'all jam with this here, man, while I go do this here. Y'all let me know if I look good because I'm going to let y'all see how I look this morning. What's up, child? Have you ever been in one of them woods where can nobody tell you nothing because you knew you looked good? <laughs> well, I tell you, that's the type of mood that I'm in right now. Hell, I'm feeling good and somebody need to see it. This. I'm going down tonight. It's just me and my whiskey. I'm going down tonight. So mind your damn business. I'm going down tonight. I plan on getting wasted. I'm going down tonight. Hell, I might just make me a baby. I'm going to need someone to cover myself up. Because tonight I'm bound to feel for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a hole, a hole in the world. Yeah. That'll play that funky music you feel in your soul. Mm -hmm. Don't care about the weather, I'm going tonight. Uh. Brace me to snow, I gotta slow roll it tonight. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna leave without warning by my side. Mm -hmm. Cause tonight is gonna be a hell of a on, man. Y'all see what Bell Bell post up there? Now, Bell Bell wrong. Now, the girl say she wants the upgrade. She wants the uh, thumb drive that he got. He supposed to be her friend. He supposed to be her friend and he don't want to give her the thumb drive if he can't get an upgrade. He said he going to keep it for himself. Now, Bell Bell, if that's a lady and she wants the thumb drive, you're supposed to give it up. <laughs> You're supposed to do anything to make her happen. You know, it reminds me of that commercial where this guy in his house, him and his wife sit down and he say, baby, I got something for you. And um, he got two trucks out there. He got a red one and he got a red one SUV and he got a bad GMC truck for himself, the truck blue. The girl go outside, she see the truck, and she run to the truck and she say, I love it. And he say, but he trying to tell her that the red one for her. And she say, but I love it. So he said, well, I like red too. Uh, well, bad, bad, you got to do the same thing, man. Get that girl that thing, man. Now, you know I'm going you another one. But you got to give it to her first, though. If you don't give it to her first, you don't get the upgrade. Um, I got to deposit something in this bank, bro. Y'all, y'all gotta forgive me, but I'm doing transactions this morning. I got to de deposit this now. Oh, let's jam while I'm doing that. Yeah, 
Now, Bell say he's going to give it to him, y'all. I must have made a lot of sense to him. <laughs> yeah, I must have made a lot of sense to that brother. Hey, Bell, Bell, you can get yours, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send some out Saturday. I mean, well, Monday to the drive to the post office. I'll send it out. And I can tell you something, man. Uh, I went to the post office Monday and yesterday. Almost everybody got the upgrade. Oh, uh, Stephanie ain't got hers yet, but Virginia Parker got hers. Oh, um, Connie got hers. Um, and some more people got theirs too. So, hey man, um, give it to them. And then uh, Monday I'll pop yours off in the post office and you can get it, man. Yeah, so don't be fretting that, man. You know Spoonie G gonna hook y'all. tell y'all something, man. Spoonie G gonna be making the Christmas flash drive with the gospel hits. Yes, I am. And I'm telling you, man, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fire flash drive. Yeah, so you'll be having one with the, with the Southern Soul and stuff like that. Then you have the other one for just Christmas songs and gospel. Yeah. Because I had somebody put that on my mind last night. I got off from work. I was laying down. I was talking to my daughter. And me and my daughter was chopping it up. And we've been chopping it up lately now, con you know, consistently every night almost. I don't know what then got into my daughter, but I guess my daughter say, you know what? That's my pops. You know, I should be have a stronger relationship with him. Because, you know, I wasn't there for my kids for about 30 years because I was addicted to drugs. 
Yeah, I was addicted to drugs for 30 years. I lived homeless on the streets for 30 years. Yes, I did. Without a home, without nothing, but a piece of cardboard that I slept on the sidewalk with for 30 whole years, y'all. And I damaged a lot of relationship with those kids. One, one of my kids, he ain't spoke to me since I came back out of the out of the grave. Since I've been resurrected, he's still holding a lot of animosity. But you know, I got to give him time to cure and and, and process it itself, just like they had to do. So three out of four of my children, we got a relationship. One of them, he blames everything on me, man, and. He, his his uh, emotions is justified. But, you know, you just got to let him be. And sooner or later, you know, he'll come around. And then my life will be complete. That's the only missing link in my life that I had to repair uh, when I was resurrected and I got back on my stick like I was supposed to. It wasn't nothing but a blessing of, from God for me to come up, come back from the dead like that, y'all. It's uh and this sad uh, this uh Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day, I'm going back to a spot where I used to get my meals from when I was homeless, and I'm gonna go up in the place and I'm gonna help them serve the homeless for Thanksgiving. It's a rough looking spot, y'all, but the dude was feeding everybody, you know, cause we was hungry out there, you know, being addicted to drugs, all you did was hustled and smoked and got high. So, you know, stuff like food and water was not a necessity at that time. So he opened up what's called the soup kitchen. And they, um, it was a nun lady, man. Miss, Miss Rosemary started that project in uh, Houston. Uh, she also had halfway houses, too, for people getting out of prison. A nun, a real nun, y'all. I mean, when I say a nun, she ain't never got none. <laughs> and I love the lady to death because she used, she took a liking to me. And um, she used to always tell me, you, go, you can get it together, you know. It's not the end of the world. But at that time, I couldn't understand. <laughs> I, I couldn't see no way out of it. But I did come out of it, thank God to that. And I've been repairing relationships since. And that one son of mine just don't even want to call, talk, say nothing. And I, I guess he was real young in 96 when my mama died, because that's when I disappeared. Right after my mama died, I disappeared. And the from 96 all the way up into, in 90, good, good morning, Vicky, how you doing? From 96 all the way up into 2009. They didn't hear a word from me. All of them had wrote me off as dead. And then I popped back up on them. And here's where I'm at today. So, hey, y'all. Hey, man, y'all go give thanks for Thanksgiving. I'm going to volunteer at the homeless place where I was. Hey, yeah!
Because I'm single and I'm skeptical. But the last time I was with a cougar. Yeah, the last time I was with a cougar. I'm going to tell you how I know I had the good good. In the middle of the exercise. I call it exercise. She went to sucking her thumb. <laughs> she, couldn't, she couldn't pull her thumb out of her mouth. <laughs> she couldn't, she, I was like, God, what's wrong with you? Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> so that's how I know I got the good good, y'all. So how do you know you got the good good? Uh, Spoonie G want to know. Drop it down, y'all. How do you know you got the good good? Spoonie G know because Spoonie G had her sucking her thumb and she wouldn't pull it out of her mouth like a baby. You know how the baby do? They suck their thumb, you pull it out, they go, ah! You put it back in. Uh, yeah, that, that was Spoon and G. Yeah, yeah, y'all. That's how Spoon and G know. Yeah. Thanks for Thursday morning and drive to work with Spoon and G, y'all. Yo! 
this morning. I want to thank your mama for making you so beautiful this morning. Oh, I want to thank your mama. Boy, if I was coming out for Thanksgiving, which I think I am, I'm going to run up to your mama and say, oh, girl, you made us such a pretty country girl right here. I just want to thank you. <laughs> yeah, man, that's what 
I want to do. I'm going to thank him. I'm going to thank him, boy. I'm telling you, I'm going to thank him. Let's roll, y'all. watching but you ain't saying nothing <laughs> hey oh uh, stephanie how you doing get it, I, I i know you didn't get your music yesterday but i hope you get your music today y'all get ready man funny g gonna be putting down christmas i'm talking about like a hundred and some odd christmas songs now y'all think that they ain't got a hundred christmas songs made by black artists that's bad but boy i'm gonna tell y'all something I got some heat for y'all this year here. This is going to make your Christmas real special. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to juice it up with gospel music. I'm talking about the hottest gospel songs ever made. And all you got to do is get it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to announce when I, done, I got them stocked up. I'm going to make about 20 or 30 flash drives. And y'all may not believe it, but I'm going to send it all out because... I ain't got no lady to buy no Christmas uh, gifts for because I'm still single and I don't have, I haven't established a relationship like that to buy a gift for somebody. I don't. I don't have it. I really don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get on and gift my listeners for my drive to work. Y'all the most important people in my life right now other than the people that I, I work for and my clients. My clients is number one. Y'all number two. And the people I work with is right there too. Because y'all the people that I interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes, I do. Outside of that, I'm uh I'm kind of like the extrovert, introvert kind of guy. Extrovert when I'm out in the society. Introvert when I'm at home. Yeah. So let's roll, y'all. Five. 
theme song. I got to get crunk, boy. It's going to be a long day today. I don't get off till 8 o'clock tonight, y'all. <laughs> I don't get off till 8 o'clock tonight. I might make it home at 8.30 and I got to be back up at 6 o'clock. But hey, y'all give me uh, energy. I ain't going to lie. Y'all really do and I appreciate y'all every morning. So here y'all. Let's go, y'all. Can I get in here a little? 
Facebook trying to flag me right now, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to shut it down. I won't shut it down because I know what they're gonna do when I see a little thing come up here. And I guess they say you're jamming too hard, boy. So hey y'all look, this is what I want to do, man. Y'all remember, man. Everybody y'all remember that Spoonie G gonna be making the Christmas stuff. Starting in December, I think the second week of December. I probably I'm gonna be working on a project weekend after weekend when I'm off. I'm gonna buy four flash drives, download the music, put it on there. Then the following week I'm gonna do four more. Then I'm gonna do four more. And then when I get it to where I want it at, for all the loyal people that's been on this drive ever since I start this, y'all first up on deck. Nat Noonan. Stephanie, Vanetta, Renetta, Hope, uh, Virginia, y'all, y'all, y'all gonna get it first. I don't care about nobody else. Y'all gonna get it first, and then everybody else gonna they can get the rest of it. But I gotta do that for y'all, cause every morning, man, it's like I wake up in the morning and there y'all are, you know, and and and. and you know, it, it's really, it really means a lot to me. It really do. It really do. I just want to let you know. It really means a lot to, you know, have long-distance friendships that's solid. The friendship I got with y'all more uh, solid. I, I trust that friendship than I do with the Joker sitting uh, right there next to me. Because the one be up under you really be snakes, man. You got to watch. <laughs> you got to watch them haters, man. Them haters be watching you, you know. So, hey, y'all, y'all remember the three C's, man. You got to make a choice. You got to take a chance in order to make a change. ASAP, always stop and pray and push. Pray until something happens. With that, y'all, may God peace and blessing be upon all of y'all. I'm out.